Welcome to Tuesday's Tips from So Very Easy. My name is Laura. Does your machine give you a bit of a hard time when you're having to get over a large, thick seam? Well, let me explain why your machine does that, and let me explain how you can prevent it and how you can help your machine get over that hump. The first thing we need to do is understand why the machine is having problems getting over that thick seam. And here is a thick seam that has been made out of denim. And you will see that there is a big difference in the layer of fabric versus no layers, just a single layer. The foot has a problem getting over that hump. The reason is, is because the foot is on an angle and it wedges in very similar to a door wedge. When this is put through the door, the door cannot open and close because it's wedged in there. It's the same as a sewing foot. When this foot is trying to get over the fabric, the foot is not at a straight angle. It's actually at a wedge like this and it's trying to force over something that it cannot do. Let me show you a close up and it'll make a whole lot more sense to you. So you're sewn along and then you get to this thick seam. And you can see here that the foot is very much on an angle. This is touching the single layer of fabric. Well, this is way up in the air. And you can see that it's a wedge underneath here against the fabric. And that's what makes it difficult because it is just like the door wedge. It's not wanting to move. There's a very easy way you can help your machine out with that. You can buy little things that can help you get over the hump or you can use a nail file. These are This is just a little padded nail file. Or you can take a piece of fabric and fold it many times so it has the thickness of the seam. And what you're going to do is you're going to keep your needle in the position in the fabric. Lift up the foot and you can either take the piece of fabric and just bring it so that it's touching the needle. And you can do the same thing with the nail file. So you're going to bring it so it touches the needle. You will then put your foot down and you're going to be able to proceed to sew. Because now you can see that there's no wedge here. It's at a nice straight angle and you're just able to sew. Now you're not going to sew over that piece of uh, fabric or the nail file because it's already past the stitching area. Then you're all set to go. This method will save you a lot of grief and it will always help to get over that hump of fabric. So this is what you call getting over the hump of it. So hopefully that clears up the reason why your machine has problems getting over the hump and will help you be able to sew those seams a lot easier. I always like to keep these handy right in my sewing box because I use them often. Not only in garment making, but a lot of times I'll also use them in quilting. Especially when you get into a very thick area where there is a lot of seams and a lot of intersections. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and as always feel free to subscribe and come on back and let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.